Yeah, Rick, Vicki, our newsroom received several complaints about this recently, so I reached out to one Louisville woman who was hit not once, but twice. Maybe I'm not seeing what I think I'm seeing. That was Chanel Lee's reaction on November 1st, the first time she discovered someone in another state withdrew cash from her food assistance benefits account. December the 1st, same thing. Deposits hit, deposits hit, they snatched my money off again. So this is a new card, new pin, new everything, and they still got me again. Twice now, Lee has filed theft claims, once over the phone, and the second time here at Kentucky's Cabinet for Health and Family Services office in Louisville. The line was long. I get there at 8.30 in the morning, the line was already to the elevator. Card skimming is to blame, according to the USDA. Thieves attach devices to debit card terminals to steal data from the EBT cards used for food assistance. The problem is so bad, Congress authorized states to use federal money to reimburse victims. But Lee says she has never been reimbursed for either of her claims. Any delay, especially to individuals on these programs, can be really harmful. So certainly my goal is to make sure that we do better. Asked about the problem on Thursday, Governor Andy Bashir said this. There are certain things that we need them to do, uh, but we need to clearly communicate that and follow up, knowing that many of these folks are really busy working jobs, just not ones that pay enough to, to support their family. And we ought to be doing everything we can to help them meet uh, the steps that need to be taken to, to get this done. In the meantime, folks like Lee are heading into the holidays with less money than they had planned. It's kind of been a struggle, you know, you know, when you take one loss, you know, it takes a minute to come back, even though it's not a big loss, you know, it still takes a minute to come back from that. And then for it to happen again, it's like, where's the security? Where's the, where's anything? Now you heard Governor Bashir in answering my question saying people are not doing claims correctly, but acknowledging the state needs to do a better job following up with those cases. I called Chanel Lee back. She told me she's never received a follow-up call asking for any additional documentation or action. And you know, the one time that she was called, she was told that there was no estimate on how long it was going to take for her to be reimbursed. Really? Well, what about the trail? They gotta leave something. What about the folks that are committing these crimes? Well, law enforcement are definitely pursuing them, and there have been a couple of really big busts in California. In one case, they were linked to a Romanian organized crime gang. Hard to get a hold of them there, though, is it? All right. Thank you, Mark.